start today in Pompano Beach, Florida with the 2005 Stamus twin Yamaha F250, four stroke of course. They only have 690 hours on each. I think they just hit 700. Fully serviced impellers, fuel filters, uh, spark plugs. They run a, like a top. Painted white, primed, prepped, sanded, the proper way of doing it here in the salt air. You gotta make sure you do these the right way. And these were done the proper way. Brand new decals. They just give this boat an entire new look that nobody has on the 2005 Stamus like us. So we're here in the cockpit area. We just went over the motors. And as you can see, huge area for fishing, chairs, lounging, cruising, just getting everything going with the family, partying, whatever you need. You got a sink up front here. You got all your, your uh, fishing chest cabinets here. You got a cutting board with a wash down goes right into the sink, it's real nice. Pull out hose there. Uh, in the back here, you got a couple different things. You got your 20 gallon live well right here with your aerator, everything's all ready to go for fishing. It's all set up here. So, you also got a very large ice chest so you can put a bunch of drinks or your catch for the day in this back cooler here. About a 45 gallon cooler right there. Right here your battery switches on off. Real nice location separated from all the other electronics. Real clean looking in its own case that you can lock up there. We move to the front here. We got another cooler underneath this seat here. You could put more drinks, sandwiches, You're whatever familiar you like. With Stamus, but this entire floor on this boat actually comes up for the ease of access to get down into the bilge area to operate on your, or service on your engines, on your water holders, on all your pumps. And I'll open that for you right now and I'll show that to There's you. There's a little so switch right see. here that I'm holding up and it's gonna bring up the cockpit floor there. There's a light on down there now that I just turned on. As you can see, the light just came on. And you got your water heater down to the bottom right. Two 50 gallon storage water containers down on the bottom there. It's 100 gallons total. Probably a little more, maybe 60 gallons. Anyways, your transducers down there on both hydraulic pumps. Fresh water pump for your head inside. Your windshield wipers. And you also have all of your pumps for the wastewater as well down in there. All right, now we're gonna put the floor down. As you can see it goes down great. I'll turn off the light there. Drop the canopy top on our custom canopy. So you just come out here, grab the canopy top, and it flips right over. So you have more shade As you're strolling along. Three brand new batteries, Kohler generator, and all of your fuel filters. Brand new interstate batteries, brand new fuel filters, and this boat's ready to go. Take you up to the helm now. All right, so now we're up in the helm, show you all the controls and everything that the Stamus has to offer. Your binnacle control here for your F-250s, Windless anchor here. Your trim tabs are here. Fuel management system all across the way. Your tack, speedometer. You also have your bow thruster that works. It's a great feature on this boat. You don't have to figure out how to dock using just the motors. You can also use a bow thruster. It's about a $5,000 feature. ICOM in this boat. VHF radio. You also have your Raymarine C80 GPS. Depth finder, as you can see there, is 4.95 feet. This also has radar capabilities. That's it for the helm area. We'll go ahead and work downstairs now. All right. Come on down, let me show you the inside of this Stamus.
Real nice and roomy inside this 05 stainless here. You got your whole galley kitchen area up here, your propane stove, microwave, and sink, along with storage area, your pantry area, and you even have a small mini fridge. Right behind you to the left, you got a convertible table into a bed at nighttime. If you have multiple guests, this turns into a nice little small double bed. And up front, you have your master suite. Removable cushions. You can access the bow thruster in the front. And work on that if you ever need to. All the incandescent LED lighting is all around, and they all work, as you can see here. And you can turn them off or on up at the helm and inside. We'll go ahead and show you the downstairs here. This area also has a table that it goes right here. You can also turn this into a little uh, single bed if you like. It has a TV DVD player as well as a TV LCD screen right up here above you for the guests in the front of the boat. It also has a privacy curtain right here. You want to go ahead and have some privacy. It's on both sides and as you know, well, you get the drift. It's privacy. Done with the single bed here in the back of the boat. We'll go ahead and move to the bathroom head area. This head area has obviously a flushable toilet along with a drain system so you can take a shower. The curtain system is right here and this if you'd like to know how the, the shower head works, you pull it out of the sink here and you place it right here and it fits in there as a shower and you can hose yourself down. This is a completely sealed unit. It's a, uh, as you can see, it's got the shower pan floor here and it drains just perfectly. You also have an electronic flushing system for your toilet right here. You can turn this and it flushes the toilet. You also have for the ladies a 20 amp circuit for a hair dryer, hair blower. All right, so this is your control panel for your generator and your shore power. So we'll go ahead and turn the blower on here and show you how the generator works. It already has been preheated, so all we're gonna do is hold up the start button. It's on, you can hear it. So right now, all the power that you need in this boat is on, continuously running off gas generator power. So we'll go ahead and turn on the AC here. This is your AC vent, and I'll turn the AC on. See, it's set to 61 degrees right now, and it's set on cool, and it just kicked on because I heard the compressor turn on. So the fan speed is all the way up to its fastest. If you want to slow it down, you can slow it down. These are your bar tabs to slow it down. And if you want to get to go higher on the temperature, you can put the temperature up or down, so that's nice. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take this 05 Stamus out there and show you how she performs on the water. And again, please visit BoatTential.com. If you have a boat you wanna list yourself for free, go ahead, place it on there. Or if you wanna give us a call to come out and help you out, give us a call. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you soon. Thank you.